Do you think Donald Trump has ever cleaned anything in his life? Do you think he's ever actually used disinfectant? Cleaning supplies might as well be magical potions to him. I dropped a hamburger on the carpet. Then some Mexican lady came in with some Clorox, sprayed it on the carpet, said some spell in Spanish, and then it was gone. You know, it almost looked like Trump was messing with the governor of Arizona. Handshake. Psych, you idiot. Don't you know there's a pandemic? I can't wait to tell Fauci about this one. Also, what is the point of avoiding a handshake if you then wipe your hands all over the other guy's suit? I mean, at that point, you're just using him as a corona napkin. And you know Trump is gonna lie about this if he's asked. The handshake went off exactly as planned. It was a perfect handshake. Read the transcript. If Donald Trump was a 911 operator, that would be a disaster. Hello, 911. My house, it's being robbed. Well, I've heard a lot of houses aren't being robbed. In fact, most people have told me their houses are not being robbed right now. What? Sir, I wasn't blaming you. I mean, you called me out of nowhere and started complaining. It sure feels personal. So personal. And you can tell Trump took it personally because Donald Trump has the least subtle body language of anybody on earth. I mean, look at him, sulking like a toddler. National Nurses Day was supposed to be my day. Trump is treating Obama less like a criminal and more like they're in a relationship and Trump feels like Obama messed up. If you don't know what you did wrong, well, I'm not gonna tell you. Uh, Donald, please, uh, whatever I did, uh, I'm sorry. My friends were right about you. Never date a Leo. Donald Trump is the president. So if he thinks coronavirus is all just a bunch of hype and he should be able to do a rally, then my man, go and do a rally. I swear, Trump is the most powerful, least powerful person in the world. I wanna do a rally, but I can't because the doctors will get mad at me. According to Bolton, Trump's shady dealings with other countries went far beyond Ukraine. He was promising to personally kill any investigations into Turkish companies and he was begging China to help him win re-election. And you know, that's not just corrupt, it's also really embarrassing. Because Bolton's book makes Trump sound less like a president and more like a crackhead who's out of cash. Come on, G, just help me get one more term. Just give me one more term and I'll suck your did I tell you about my electoral college victory? So strong. Trump paid someone to take the SATs for him. And you know, I'll be honest, I'm not even mad about that. I'm mad that he didn't keep that attitude as president. Say you're president, but then pay someone else to do the job. Like Hillary, she's free. She could have done all the work. And then as Trump, you could have read all the speeches. Today, my administration announces that we're increasing funding for affordable housing. Oh, wow, I didn't see that coming. He read that Biden wants to abolish immigration detention. And he also read that Biden wants police reform and then his brain just mashed them up into Biden wants to abolish the police. I kind of want to give Trump a book to read just to see how he would explain it back to me. Green Eggs and Ham is a tragic story about two eggs that want to marry a ham. They want to get married. They love each other. But it is bizarre that Trump is the most impulsive president ever, except when it comes to Russia. I mean, people are protesting against the police and he's like, we gotta send in the troops, break it up, people. We gotta destroy them. But when Russia is putting bounties on American troops, he's like, they're only lashing out because we hurt them. Like Dr. Jen says, hurt people, hurt people. We can't reschedule the election. For starters, both candidates are like 200 years old. I mean, we gotta keep things moving. I'm not even sure that Trump understands what an alarming proposal this is because this is basically the move of a dictator. But Trump is just casually throwing it out there in a tweet with a bunch of question marks. Like he's on a group text trying to bail on happy hour. Hey y'all, November 3rd is not great for me. Maybe we reschedule for 2021. Thoughts? What do you guys think, huh? And just by the way, you remember a few years ago when I said Trump was an African dictator? You remember that? Yeah? Yeah? People acted like I was crazy, but this is how it starts. First, they just suggest that maybe you postpone the election. Then they suggest that some of the votes are not valid. And pretty soon they're saying, you know what's really unfair? That there are two political parties. Why are there two political parties? Let's just have one. Then you don't have to worry about making all these decisions anymore. 